Hello Team Zog and welcome back to another video. This time we're going to do an unboxing video on something that I bought yesterday. Now I'm on my holiday as you can see. So yeah, so what are we going to review Zog? Well, it's not Thomas related, it's not Chuggington related, it's not Underground only related, it's... Them! Yep. We'll be reviewing real life steam locomotives. So, yeah. We got the. The GWR1361 class. Yeah, I had to Google that. Again. The. LMS Black 5 in British Rose Literally. And, of course, my favourite steam train in the world, well, in Great Britain, because I don't know, I don't know many things about the other trains in other countries like America, Germany, China, or Canada. Or Russia. Well, I did heard some videos on steam locomotives, but anyways, this is my favorite steam engine of all time, the A4 Pacifics. So yeah, that's a little spoiler. But anyways, I got them from a train station of a heritage railway. Yeah, I'm. I have video footage of it, so I'm gonna show you guys soon at some point. But anyways, let's get to the unboxing. Let's start with any mini miny. Oh. So we got some scissors. So instead of just pausing the video until it's unboxed, I'm just going to um tell you guys all about it while I make or I open this up. Alright, let's go. So if you want to know about the Black Fives, they're actually a pretty successful steam locomotive. They're actually one of my favorites. They were designed by they were designed by William Stania, who also designed the uh, Coronation class locomotives and the Princess Royal classes, the Eight Fs. You know those steam locomotives. And yeah, they were built between 1934 to 1951, now that's a long time, and a total were produced by 842. Out of the ones that were made, only 18 were preserved, and the others were scrapped unfortunately. The Black Fives are some of my favorite steam locomotives, so yeah. And when I saw this on the toy shelves, I knew I had to get it at some point. Yeah, and plus it was the only one on stock left, so yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, I think we got it. Yep, yeah, we got it. Yeah, the box may be damaged, but I'm going to see what I could do. So, anyways, let's get to the video. Alright, so, let's see how it turned out. Alright, we got the tender. Okay. And here we have the Black Five. Oh yeah, fun fact, the Black Fives ended up becoming the basis for Henry the Green Engine. So... What do I have to say? Well, the design of it is, well, the detail of it is pretty nice. And there's a big screw, so if you want to, you could actually remove it a little bit. But, but proportions, design, what do I think of it? Well, let's get to it. So let's start that the that he the black five looked a bit strange a bit why is this strange well 
It is strange for several reasons. The the smoke box and boiler are feel like they're too squish and too s small. And the fire box is too big and the cab is a little bit big. These you see these wheels? Although it was nice for big Jake's to do this, but yeah, it is nice, but they don't even fit the rails. For example, let me just get the track. Yep, there's the track. Yeah, this is actually really decent, I guess, but still, it is actually a little bit that, plus you could do this and that. It's just weird a bit. However, I love the proportions, and one last thing, this thing, oh my goodness, this thing is so ridiculous, why couldn't they just molded it in, like what they did with the Thomas Wooden trains, yeah, now let's get to the tender, the tender details, like the engine before, it looks nice, I love the buffer details, but what the... It's missing a bit of the lining. I can only assume what happened because might it happened because someone must have dropped the thing. But all in all, this is actually a decent reputation of the Black Fives. Yeah, I give this model away. I just noticed there was a little bit scratches there. All in all, I give this design a uh a say. A 6 out of 10. Nearly a 6.5. Yeah, I'm just happy that they did a Black 5. I mean, I'm not saying the Black 5 is the worst model. I mean, I think the worst model has to be that new Eye for the Atlantic. Go to the website. I mean, it has 0 stars. Well, the Black 5 has 5 stars for some reason. For some reason. I would give it 3 stars. Next up, we, we're going to do the... GWR one three six one class. Let's get to it. So the one three six class were a little tank engine. They were built for working at the dock sides. They were built in nineteen ten. Only five of five. Actually, it was four of them were only. Well, actually, yeah, it was only five of them were actually built. They were built but they were built on the same date which was nineteen ten. So a hundred years. A hundred and eleven years today. Now that is impressive. They were designed by who's the designer? GJ Church Wood. I think, yeah, he designed these. Also, fun fact, if you watch some trains, there were two model trains of this ever made. One of them was bad, and the other was good. I think the, yeah, I think the green one was the first one, and then for the white one, they approved. Only, out of the five of them, only one of them got preserved. That being... Member class class member one three six three. Yeah, so one three six three is still around today. So at least that ended up getting preserved unlike sometimes just like the E twos or the J fifties. All in all, these engines are okay. I actually like them. They're not bad, but I think the green one has to be improved on and let's see how this turns out all right so we've got this all right all right so here we go man this looks a little bit nicer so let's see what this locomotive has to offer oh yeah here is the bother piece this has to be the Strangest steam locomotive, I mean, piece of track ever made. 
I think it's one of those standard pieces, but they put glue on it. That's interesting. So, yeah, what do I think of these locomotives? They're actually pretty nice. I mean, the model train itself is pretty strange to say the least. Let's start with the number. So, I believe the number here is actually fictional to say the least because bear in mind they only went up in 2375 to 2379 although it could be a renumbering scheme so I think this is not a surviving example yeah so what do I think of these engines well the design of this is actually okay but I have some problems with this so let's begin. So the problems with these things for the toy version that is is that the smoke box, cab, and wheels are grey of all colours. Why? I have absolutely no idea. Was it as a thing with them back in the older days? But even though it is a little bit strange, I mean Having the color grey on real steam locomotives work for some steam locomotives. But they can, well, you could use that for the front, but for the cab, smoke, smoke box, and wheels grey as well. That's just confusing. All in all, oh, another thing I like to complain is that this thing, this thing, in real life, I think, they don't have it. And where are its buffers? <laughs> I guess the hammers. They could just at least make a little bit buffer piece, but still. It's nice we got one. And besides, I think this is the newest one they have. So, let's just say they're just getting back to the old roots. And finally, we've got this guy. An A4 Pacific. And if you're wondering which A4 it is, it's... White the Eisenhower. It was also a mallard, but I didn't buy it because I don't think I ever heard of this one before. And because I don't see White the Eisenhower on eBay. It was actually a really good find. I hope I can get mild someday. But anyways, let's get to the unboxing. So I'll tell you about the e 4 Now just fun fact, the e 4 are my favorite steam locomotives. So, what do... Sorry about that. But anyways... The A4s are my favorite steam locomotives, by the way. So, they were designed by Sir Nigel Grousley. 35 of them were ever built. And and one of them, number 4468 Mallard, became the fastest steam locomotive in the world and have been holding that tile for more than 80 years. By the way, Mallard is my favorite A4. F another fun fact is that... These machines ended up becoming the mem the class members for Spencer from Thomas and Friends and Owen from Chuggington. So yeah, that is basically that is something you gotta give credit for because the same engine was not used not once but it was used twice for a cartoon show. I believe because a lot of people really like the A fours, myself included. The A4s will always be my favourites, and that's a little bit spoilers for the video I'm up, I'm planning to make at some point. So, here we go. Oh yeah, and almost one for that. Out of the 35 of them were ever made, only 6 of them, including White D. Eisenhower, as I'm making, opening up right now, and Mallard, and... Other ones called Bitten, Sinatra Grizzly, uh, Unisouth South Africa, and the Diminutive of Canada. Sorry, I have trouble pronouncing that. They're all still around today. White D. Eisenhower and Munich and New the Munich of Canada. Sorry if I get that wrong are actually in in America right now 
while the others, including the famous mallet, are still in the UK. Mallets at the National Rail Museum. And the others are on Heritage Roads, except for Sinatra Grizzly. Sinatra Grizzly is having an overhaul right now, and won't be completed until a few days. Maybe a few, maybe a year later, I'm not too sure. Yeah, so if you're a big fan of the A-Force like me, then you should really watch YouTube videos on these things. They're amazing. Yep. Alright, we've well got it open. So here we go. Oh yeah, one more fun fact. There was another A4 that was almost preserved, and that was one of the Silver Jubilee a for Silver Link, who was the first member of the class. Despite the efforts of the, a man called Sir Billy Butlin, they ended up failing, and the Silver Link got scrapped anyways. I would also like to see the Silver Link preserved, would you? But anyways, let's see White D. Eisenhower. Alright. Here is White D. Eisenhower in his A4 version. Now, what what do I think of this version of White D. Eisenhower? So, White D. Eisenhower. Now, White D. Eisenhower is a little bit better than the Black Fives and better than the Great Western 1361 class over there. I think this has to be the best details. One thing I like to complain is that they don't have buffers and they don't have buffers. But yeah, that is something I like to do. And I think the tender size is much better than the Black Fives. Yeah. White D. Eisenhower was one that one had so many names. I think the only name I can think of has to be Golden Shuttle, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Golden Shuttle. So, yeah. I don't, well, I don't know why that White D. Eisenhower in Union South Africa. Yeah, I finally got it right. In South Africa. I don't know why those two ended up going to America, but it's nice to have them still around today, even though you can't visit them in the UK. So, my final ratings for Eunice, I mean, White D. Eisenhower, sorry, I almost said the wrong A4 there. I would give this model an honest 9 out of 10. Yep, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I mean, fun fact, I think they reused the same body for the Duchess of Hamilton, who, Duchess of Hamilton is non A4, she's a Coronation Class Pacific. Yeah, I have plans to get Mallard, because Mallard's one of the top priorities right now. So, so yeah, that's my review on big, three big trays of motives. They're going to ask me. What I have plans to do with them? Well, I'm going to put faces on these things and make a little series of mine, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Yeah, I think White D. Eisenhower's face has to be the best, I mean, the easiest one to make. So, yeah, that's my review on it. So, yeah, goodbye, guys. This is Team Dog signing out. Peace out.